Yo, what's up, everyone? This is Kai here, back again with a new episode of Epic Seven Video. Today, I'm going to show you something really spicy. A lot of my viewers are interested in watching legend level RTA fights, so today I'm going to show you that. Also, it's preseason. I got to have some fun with uh, new team compositions, so I'm going to show you the new hero that I built right for legend level RTA so if you like my videos please make sure to click on the like button and don't forget to subscribe as well okay let's go so my new hero is actually going to be Ludwig uh, I featured him in one of my previous videos um, but in that video, I only used him in like a lower tier bracket, right? As a, you know, fun team. But today I'm gonna show you Ludwig in a competitive environment, right? Preseason legend level RTA. I have my best uh, speedy uh, DPS gear on him at the moment with the speed and crit set. Um, so he has uh, almost uh, 4,500 attack, 200 speed, right? almost max out critical hit chance, and 282 critical hit damage. I really like Ludwig, right? But I have to say that Ludwig is not meta, right? It's not like, a, you know, a, a strong pick in the RTA. But uh, still, I think Ludwig is not that bad, right? Not that bad. If you uh, build a team around him. So uh, let's look at the skills first. Uh, S3 Call of the Full Moon, insane animation, insane damage. Uh, penetrate defense by 20%, not a big deal, but uh, if he is invincible and has the invincibility buff, uh, penetrate uh, by a total of uh, 50%, that's a lot of damage. And also, if you uh, attack this right critical hit uh, on the enemy team uh, you get a barrier proportional to the caster's attack so you get a thick shield right to help him survive right to for the next turn and the s2 here moonlight blow uh, can stun right uh, although it's a 50 percent chance to stun not a high chance but Huge multiplier, right? The S3 has a very good multiplier and the S2 also a very good multiplier uh, damage wise. And grand invincibility. So basically you can use this skill to counter Arbiter Vildred, right? You use S2 kill off the Arbiter and uh, gets the invincibility buff. And then for next turn you use S3. S1 very interesting. Start live, right? 75% chance to steal one buff and uh, can gain combat readiness if the caster is buffed usually you want to have Ludwig on some buff right like attack buff you know uh, invincibility right to guarantee the 50% defense penetration so Ludwig is like a uh, similar to Landy right like as a grass type AOE damage dealer but the difference is that Ludwig S3 has a better multiplier like turn one right can do a lot of damage turn one but Landy is like a more like a ramping up hero right you want her to survive uh, till turn two and three to get them S3 off and off again yeah but I think Ludwig has huge potential and uh, I have him on a, a critical hit chance imprint uh, yeah it's pretty good Level 10 friendship, by the way. And uh, artifact, right? I know the a lot of people are using like time, time matter, uh, but I don't think that's a good artifact on Ludwig. I like the symbol of unity, or you can use, you know, Tonfa Exorcist or Portrait of the Savior. But I think symbol of unity, this artifact is best on Ludwig, right? The Guild War artifact. Mainly for the reason uh, is, uh, is that uh, increased hit chance by 19%. This is huge because when you bring out Ludwig, right, the opponent uh, is going to answer with the tanky fire heroes. 
maybe the Ravi, maybe Lilius, right? Charlotte, Kron, you know, all these, right? To counter your Ludwig and leave your Ludwig in. But they're gonna be surprised that uh, you, with the symbol of unity, you, you're still gonna kill, right? And also, this gives you a chance to hit the uh, evasion unit, right? Rylet, you know, Mursa, right? And also has the damage increase effect from the portrait of the savior, fifteen point two percent damage increase. Uh, very good artifact, and I can briefly show you the stats. This one is from Hell Raid. Um, not crazy, but very good, right? All went into attack speed and critical hit chance. Yeah, this one is okay, right? A lot of attack, critical hit damage, and yeah. These two probably I can improve, right? Not the best, but I don't get good luck on the DPS, uh, you know, gears. This one, very insane. 34% uh, attack with uh, critical hit damage. Yeah, a lot of damage. And uh, this is like uh, some survivability piece, but it's also very good. And this one, 26% attack. So... Yeah, a lot of damage, a lot of damage. And I think he can shine uh, in high-level PvP if you uh, put the team composition right. And I really like uh, Ludwig. Okay, let me show you the RTA fight. Okay, plus 15 skill ups. Crazy damage Ludwig in legend level RTA. Uh, we are against the Genezet. Uh, sorry if I pronounce your ID wrong. Uh, I believe he's a Twitch streamer, right? Uh, I actually rewatched uh, his uh, stream right at this time, and he said, "Am I gonna be in a video?" Yes, bro, you're gonna be in my Ludwig uh, video, right? Ludwig Cleave in Legend Level RTA. So uh, let's analyze the situations here, right? Both ban uh, General Purgis. That unit is Cancer. Ban out, don't have to worry about it, right? And he first picked the Landy, probably a, a very well-built Landy. So I go with the Bazaar and the Arbiter Vildre. Okay, he answered with uh, Faceless Lydica to contest the Bazaar. Very good pick. So what's next, right? LQC, interesting. So probably thinking I'm gonna bring out the Fallen Cecilia, but uh, in this case, I'm going with the Ludwig Cleave, so I'm gonna go with the Crimson Armin uh, to give uh, Invisibility buff and the Ludwig, yeah, of course. By the way, my Crimson Armin is uh, slightly faster than my Ludwig, so uh, she can post up uh, Invisibility buff um, for Ludwig. And the Byseria, very good pick here because uh, to strip off the buff, right? To prevent the cleave from happening. Probably here, the LQC is a questionable pick, but we're gonna end up with the Water Rose and bend out the Faces Lydica. So it's a speed battle. So who gets uh, turn one, right? Has a huge advantage. Okay. My Bazaar is kind of slow though. Okay, <laughs> okay, okay. Very fast F10 here. Very fast F10 here. Okay, but do we dodge, right? We have two green units. Okay, Bazaar dodge. And the lot of we didn't get provoked. This is huge. So we soul burn, guaranteed the uh, pushback. Guaranteed the pushback. And uh, provoke the LQC, interesting, because LQC is the tankiest unit. Oh, didn't get Silas. Okay, very nice, very nice. So we do this click, watch this, watch this. With nothing, nothing, we still do a lot of damage. Okay, 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 not, not, not that, not that. I mean, this is 50-50 at the moment because uh, by Syria, right? And Landy can do AoE nuke to kill off the Ludwig here. RP is gonna come back, but can we get gap, right? No, no gap. 
So this is looking bad because LQC can finish. Unless we put blind, yeah, uh, no blind. Okay, we cut actually, we cut here. Kill off the LQC, I think we win. I think we win. Bob, Bob, okay, didn't kill, okay, nice. Okay, Lud, we got a win. Okay, for our second fight, we are against a legend Korean player. I believe he is in the top 30. So we're gonna first pick the Bazaar and ban out the General Purgis as usual. Uh, he bans out the Falcon and Curry. So I don't know what he plays. The crowd, okay. So we're gonna go with the uh, Arbiter and the uh, Crimson Army. Yeah. So at this point, he's confused, right? Why Crimson Army? Right? When FCC is still open, right? Nobody cares about Crimson Army. But no. Right, because we want the invincibility buff, like the 50% defense penetration from Ludwig. And usually I don't see people banning Ludwig, so... Yeah, you are guaranteed a combo, right? Because uh, there are too much threats in the pick. Okay, ML is very good pick against Arbiter Vildred. So I think the opponent here probably gonna ban the Bazaar, right, at the moment. Okay, Fire Ravi. Fire Ravi, interesting. So we're gonna pick Ludwig here. And uh, we're gonna pick Water Rose. So what's the last pick gonna be? Oh, thinking hard. Yeah, okay, interesting. The Charlotte, okay, double fire against Ludwig. And ban out the C Armin, right, to prevent the, the defense penetration. But we got attack buff, right? So in this case, you either ban out the Rose or you ban out the Bazaar, right? It's a very hard choice. Okay, we get turn one, of course. And then we do this, we buff attack. And then we guarantee pushback. And we don't even soul burn because we already ahead, right? We can soul burn for more damage. So we miss on the Charlotte, which is unfortunate because Charlotte gets a defense buff and attack buff. Oh, we gap, okay. First soul burn. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, big damage, big da Okay, watch this, watch this. Soul burn with attack buff, but no defense penetration, right? 20% only. Call of the FOMO. Look at the symbol of unity. Crow is dead. <laughs> Crow is dead from Aureus. Right? Imagine if I miss on the two fires. Like, I, I basically dead. That's why you need symbol of unity. Okay, it's not over yet. It's not over yet. Because uh, Charlotte can solo. Ra Ravi can solo. So here, Arbiter is dead. And we come back. We come back. Can we gap again? Ah, uh, no gap, no gap, that's okay, but we kill Ravi here, right, at least. Bum, 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 bum. Ooh, okay, holy sacrifice, holy. Is he, like, on double holy sacrifice on A Tywin and Charlotte? Am I dead? So, oh, S2, S2 here, S2 the Charlotte. Oh, miss. Oh, that's not good, that's not good. My whole team is dead from this. Okay, okay. Uh, Ludwig, Ludwig is still alive, still alive. Okay, get provoked. We can cleanse, we can we cleanse here. And we work on the Charlotte, we work on the Charlotte. Kill here, kaboom! Oh, okay, okay. Okay, okay, dead, dead. I mean, at this point, we're winning, right? Because, like, there's no damage source, right? Another kaboom. Oh, okay. Okay, nice, nice Ludwig clean. Okay, for our third fight, we are against I am wrong. 
I don't know how to pronounce his name, but like he's a legend level RTA player, like top 20. I think he's also a legend finisher last season. And so very strong player, but we're gonna still go with the Ludwig, right? First pick Bazaar. Right, FCC and the General Perk is banned. Okay, Flurry, very good pick, very good pick. Okay, oh, and the Lilias take away the Flurry counter. So we go Arbiter Vildred and we go Crimson Arm. Okay, he is thinking hard because he never see a crimson armin coming in right right i actually don't know what he plays though right like, he's a very versatile player i believe i fought him uh, like a couple times but uh don't know what exactly right his uh favor into the K Rock. Celine. Okay, Tempest Surin, very good pick here. Anti cleave unit. And uh, F10. Okay. So we're gonna go with Ludwig and the uh, Water Rose. Right? Same team. Same team. So he's gonna respawn with something here. And right now I'm thinking ban out the fastest unit, right? Either the Falcon of Glory or the F10. Oh, the ML Haze. Uh, I can't ban ML Haze. Otherwise, my combo is going to be disrupted. So we're going to fight ML Haze with Arbiter Wildry. So Bazaar is banned. So he is guaranteed a uh, ML Haze shield and immunity. So we go first. Okay, F10 is kind of slow, right? Very slow. Only a little bit faster than my C army. Okay, watch this, watch this. Ludwig get attack buff and uh, invincibility with a full cleave. So we go first, Arbiter. Okay, blah, blah, blah. Okay, huge damage, huge damage. So here, T Surin is gonna come in and kill Arbiter probably or not. Sober, not gonna kill. Okay, nice, nice. Watch this. Call of the full moon. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, we miss on Lydia, but huge damage, huge damage. Okay, the fight is not over because it, ML haste, right? ML haste is very tanky and uh, you know, counter my arbiter. All that's left is ruins. So let's see, let's see. But basically, Lilius and uh, what's her face? F10 is out of the fight, right? Out of the fight. Okay, Arbiter dead. Arbiter dead. So basically, it's a 2v3 situation with ML Hayes, T Surin, and uh, uh, versus Ludwig and two knights. So we're gonna do the S2 here to uh, get the invincibility. Right? Oh. She goes into stealth and idols cheer. Oh my god, and the gap. I mean, we are in danger here, right? Because we cannot kill Tisura unless we get a lucky dual attack here, right? We have to keep on the working on the Tisura. Okay, try to strip the invisibility, but it didn't happen. So, do this, do this. Okay, do cheap damage, cheap damage. Oh, okay, another S3 to heal up. Not good, not, not looking good, not looking good. And uh, can we do attack here? Oh, look at that, man. <laughs> oh my god, Ludwig popping off. And we have the cleanse here. <laughs> Yo, he's mad, he's mad. I mean, that was a close one, though. Like, I, I could have lost that one. Yeah, yeah, GG. That's all the time I have for you guys today. I really enjoyed the Ludwig Cleave in Legend Level RTA. 
Uh, I think he's a super fun hero. Maybe just a little bit more buff, right? To push him to the top of the edge, uh, to be like a competitive pick. And uh, for those of you who are curious about my Crimson Arm and build, I have it listed here. Um, it's like a tanky, speedy build. Um, so you basically want Armin to go before your Ludwig to set up this S3, right? The invincibility. And I think Armin after the buff is also very viable as a knight uh, in your draft because of this 15% defense uh, increase, right? Uh, damage mitigation uh, because it's from all source, right? So it's technically better than the Adam and Shield because Adam and Shield is 16%, but it only works on critical hit, um, critical hit. But this is all source, so very nice, right? Damage mitigation and uh, 100% provoke. Uh, I didn't max out the skill, but yeah. So I think, uh, yeah, Ludwig can be very fun, right? So if you enjoy a hero, you can make him work. And uh, again, it shows the importance of uh, gear, right? Only like good gear can make a character work. Uh, so that's all the time I have for you guys today. So don't forget to drop a like if you enjoyed the video and I will see you guys in my next video.